Some of you may be wondering if the yoga book is good enough to capture handwriting and whether or not it can capture handwriting accurately. In this video, I'm going to show you that. I will be using some handwriting applications such as OneNote, Incredible, Squid, and Wacom Bamboo Paper. I will be testing the stylus with the ballpoint tip as well as with the plastic tip. So let's start with the ballpoint. I'm going to place my notebook on the keyboard area. I'm already in the writing mode with this icon lit up. This is my A5 notebook. By the way, the yoga book it comes with a notebook holder as well as their own special notebook that is specially made, specially uh, designed. It's a white format notebook that's designed to fit this keyboard area, but mine is A5, so it doesn't fit perfectly and there's no way to hold it down so I need to use a clip it's not very um, nice but it's a workaround so let me just put the tip here and open up one of the applications let's open Wacom bamboo paper and try and write something on it so um, this is Wacom So it's able to capture pressure sensitivity. So here I use a lot of pressure, the lines are thick. Here I use um, not as much pressure, the lines are thinner. And here I use thin, thick, thin, and thick. So it was able to capture that and it was able to capture it quite accurately. Even mistakes like this, places where I did not join the line properly, it was able to capture that on the screen. The reason for me using the clip is because if the notebook moves or if the paper moves, for example, let me move this notebook up here and if I write on it again, you can see that what I write here, it's going to appear here because this area it maps almost one to one to this so as my notebook moves upwards i'm actually still writing around this area so the lines that are going to appear here so it's very important to make sure that your notebook or paper it doesn't move when you're writing in order to capture what you have on the paper accurately so the ballpoint pen it works very well it's able to capture pressure very well let me switch over to using the plastic tip and let me switch over to using a different handwriting application I'm going to use squid I'm now using the keyboard Squid is able to capture pressure sensitivity and it's able to capture my handwriting quite accurately. There's also not a lot of lag, if not no lag at all. And now I'm using Incredible. This app, it doesn't capture pressure sensitivity. So all these thick and thin lines, they are actually pen styles that are in the app. So even if I press now hard, I'm not going to get uh, thick lines. It really depends on the style that is applied to the handwriting. So it's able to capture handwriting quite well without lag. This is one note. I always get requests to demonstrate this, so today I'm going to do so. Let me turn on the lines. It works quite well and it's able to detect pressure also. If you want to write on the screen with the plastic tip, you can do so, but you have to switch on the any pen mode in the Android settings. And after that, you will be able to 
right directly onto the glass surface. But um, in this mode, there is no pressure sensitivity, there is no palm rejection, so it's a bit inconvenient because I have to lift off my hand from the screen when writing. As you can see, it's not working very well. The screen wasn't able to detect the stylus all the time. There are a lot of broken lines and also my handwriting, it wasn't captured that accurately. So I definitely do not recommend drawing or writing directly on the screen. I mean, this keyboard area here for writing for drawing purposes, I think it's excellent, but drawing on the screen itself is not a very satisfying experience. So that's all for this handwriting note-taking demonstration. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I actually have a more detailed review of the Lenovo Yoga book from the perspective of an artist. If you're interested in that, you can check that out. The link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.